Val's HIV uh, storyline takes a dramatic twist coming up. Can you tell us there's a life and death situation coming up? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, well, after the initial horrors of finding out that she's HIV positive, she is having her illness managed. and She's doing very well. She's doing it without medication. Obviously, she has regular checkups and they keep an eye on her. And I think she thinks this is it now, forever, so she can get on with her um, great Valerie Pollard foundation work to to help the nation and to, you know, raise awareness. And um, she forgets that she's vulnerable, I think. Or she doesn't want to think that she's vulnerable. And a few things happen in the B&B in a run-up to a, um, getting the B&B into shape for Britain's Best Bed and Breakfast Awards that, of course, Val thinks they're going to uh, win. And there's an incident with Kitchen and a little fire. And... Pollard does some DIY instead of getting hot Tony in to do it so things go wrong in a kind of Chuckle Brothers fashion but the implications on Val's health are great so a bit of smoke, a bit of water in the winter immune system not brilliant and Val thinks she starts to get a cold or the people around her start to think that maybe it's more particularly Finn who's keeping an eye on her but she shrugs it all off and ignores it and ignores it at her peril right well this um dramatic twist in the story actually reunites val with her uh, on screen son paul piper by matthew bosley so how was that being because he's been out of the show for quite a few years yeah. so what was that like being reunited it was as if we'd had a weekend off and then we were back in on the monday morning it was it was absolutely lovely and because there were hospital scenes, it was like, well, like a religious painting. I was lying down and they were coming to hold my hand and gaze longingly and lovingly into my face. <laughs> so it wasn't like we were fighting. It was really blissful. What is it like actually filming sort of soap hospital scenes? Because quite a lot of that does quite often say, oh, yeah, I actually fell asleep or I used the time to catch up on my scripts. What do you do well uh, apart from having to shout sometimes what about me what about me because everybody was ignoring us once you're lying down in a bed there's a lesson don't ignore people who are lying down in beds just because they're not speaking in a particular scene doesn't mean they don't have opinions um but i i really like it it's it's a chance to just lie back and watch I was able to watch how it worked it was a bit like I was a documentary eye <laughs> and I could watch the crew and the actors and the director all you know and just to finish keep it down through there <laughs> just to finish up um, <laughs> what kind of reaction have you had since Val was diagnosed with HIV from sort of fewer what fewer feedback have you had well quite a lot it shows how many people watch the show with how many people say it was how's your hiv you know uh, not bad we're monitoring it you know and we're that far away from finding a cure and you know this storyline leads on to another aspect of hiv treatment of course because val gets so ill the, she can no longer just have it managed she has to start on a very um, a very potent drug um well trial really until they until they get it right she's not part of a medical trial but it's trial and error of which drugs she can then take which will uh, monitor it but people are very um concerned about her in a sweet sweet way how is the hiv and i think a lot of people know now because of it uh, that you have to look after yourself and you have to use condoms and you have to have safe sex can i do something to camera here for your viewers women in their 50s the biggest group at risk because they think a gone through the menopause don't have to worry about contraception wrong it's not contraception it's safe sex and we are all at risk so use condom condom <laughs> not a condom a condom please <laughs> and i'm not on commission this is for the good of your health <laughs>